Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports and subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, Roma Gonzalez, his one of his longtime coaches, the cornerman, passed away uh, last week. Uh, our new foe, Bondo, declared brain dead. Uh, I know it's probably really hard on Roma Gonzalez. He's not the first time someone in his camp has has died before. You know, he had uh, his mentor, Alexis Arguello, uh, passed away. As I made the video not too long ago, comparing him to Mike Tyson, um, Lux Arguello passed away. I believe it was Roman's uh, 21st or 22nd pro fight, which was back in 2009. So with that being said, this is nothing new to Roman Gonzalez, but still, at this point in his career, him being an older fighter, being in the new weight class, um, having some big fights on the table, it could be a big detriment to his mental psyche. So it's an interesting position that he's in. But uh, this article on BoxingScene.com uh, basically states that uh, Roman has named his dad as a head trainer for the time being uh, he's back in the gym after two months you know following the Carlos Quadras fight uh, took two months off and uh, you know now he's back in the gym and he's, and he's, and he's getting ready so um, with that being said you know he, there's gonna be a meeting really soon between Roman uh, his dad the whole camp and uh, Mr. Honda Roman's promoter of Tekken Promotions they're supposed to meet really soon and they're trying to determine like a more long-term solution as far as trainers go, and they'll probably look look within the Tekken promotional stable of trainers, and they'll probably find someone for Roman. Um, but here's uh, some quotes. There's actually some quotes here from his dad um, in regards to uh, Roman being back in the gym and the whole corner situation. So I'll get into that right now. Here's what um, his dad, Luis Gonzalez, had to say. He said, "I quote: I felt good because we started um, our plan of our plan of work again." Uh, the official trainer, oh no, this is Roman actually talking, my bad. This is Roman Gonzalez talking. I felt good because we started our plan of work. Uh, the official trainer will be Luis Gonzalez, who is my dad, and Wilmer, uh, who will be in my corner as well, which is Wilmer Hernandez. Uh, Wilmer will be in my corner as well. The others in the corner will be trainers, I imagine, from Tekken. We have to see what will happen and the plan that comes together in 2017. Um, so there you have it, you know, Roman loses another key guy in his corner. You know, like I said, Arguello passed away in 2009. Onufo Bondo passes away now. So, as a as a someone who I would say I love watching Roman Gonzalez fight, I think he, regardless of what happens this Saturday, he's still the number one fighter in the world, and that'll be a video coming out soon again. Uh, but mentally, even I wonder, you know, when someone that close to you, another key member of your stable passes away, of your corner passes away, someone he was very close with. Who's been with him since he was a pro? You know, when they pass away and you're you, you're so accustomed to them being in the gym with you, you know what is that going to do to Roman Gonzalez? Especially now that he's about to be 30 years old, uh, not too long from now, he's got rematches against all guys who are, are younger than him. And in the case of Nayoa Anoye, if he does happen to fight him within the next year, significantly younger uh, than him, you know he's going to be at some serious disadvantages. And you know I would even say like in, in the Nayo, the, the, the longer he waits to fight Anoye, I think. It becomes more of a disadvantage for him because um, Noye is getting get better. Noye, um, Noye is definitely, um, you know, a very skilled fighter. I mean, he's on my pound for pound list. I have him. I have him on there. Um, and he's just someone that's going to be a really hard problem for Roman. And then you have guys like Estrada, who are, who are a lot more confident fight, who are more confident fighters now than when Roman fought him. You have Quadras thinking that he beat Roman and gave Roman problems in the second half of that fight. Um, so, you know, he's in a he's in a very, in my opinion precarious situation you know unsafe situation where um, he's a little older now where he's basically someone who um, is is gonna be you know I, I feel like this is gonna affect him mentally I really do and how he reacts and overcomes that I feel like I feel like Roman has a chance serious chance to, to, to stake his claim as, as one of the best fighters who ever lived because now well you know we saw, like I made the analogy Mike Tyson lost cousin to Diamato and he was okay there for a little bit but over time, it kind of began to show, and he was not the same fighter anymore. Uh, Roman's already had that happen to him. He's, he's overcame the Arguello loss, which is huge. Now he has to overcome another one when he's a little bit older, when maybe he's not as much in his prime as he used to be. So we'll see how it's man. It's going to be an interesting time for Roman. Uh, hopefully, they get the whole situation straightened out there. But, uh, yeah, that's the news. Roman Gonzalez names his dad, Luis Gonzalez, as his head trainer for now, and him and Mr. Honda and his whole camp are supposed to meet up to go figure out to turn the rest of the to, to, to figure out the rest of that corner situation over there. So we'll see what happens. But uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Take the time to subscribe, and you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just kidding, Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys.